Good morning, it's Tuesday, September 18th. As some of you may have seen on Facebook, I had a show get canceled last week, and so today I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to talk about what happens when a show gets canceled. It's easy, right? You just uh, sell the crap out of some DVDs and then wait a couple years and eventually your show will get picked up and uh, remade by Netflix. Wait, 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 what? Oh, oh, not that kind of show? I've made a huge mistake. No, I'm talking about what happens when a gig gets canceled. For reference, I was supposed to play at the Secret Bar and Grill last Saturday with business time. Allegedly, they called us earlier in the week to let us know they had accidentally double booked, and they had decided to go with the other band since some of their employees played in that band, and they were real sorry, but they were going to have to reschedule us at a later date. Now, obviously, this is inconvenient for me for a number of reasons. First, bars generally don't pay you when you don't play, so this was going to be a loss of income. And second, I had already scheduled my musical and social calendars around playing this gig, and so I had lost some other opportunities that weren't going to be able to be recovered. With all this inconvenience, let me tell you what I did. Absolutely nothing. First, let's cover the positive absolutely nothings. I did not sit around in my pajamas and mope all day over the loss of the gig. I did not give up drumming altogether, taking my drums into a lush jungle and throwing them into an abyss. I did not pound on the door of the bar and dramatically yell, why won't you let me play? Don't you love me anymore? Earlier in my career, I used to take all these cancellations personally. I thought a bar canceling a gig on me said something about my ability as a musician or about the quality of my band. Now I realize it says more about the organization of the bar owner than it says anything about me. Now some of you may be thinking, what about contracts? What about booking agreements? Can't you do anything on that end? The sad answer to that is not really. True, contracts and booking agreements exist, but they're secondary compared with the relationship you have with the club owner or the booking person. If you create adversarial relationships with these people, they're not going to want to work with you in the future. A few years ago, a bar I played at quite frequently called me at literally the last minute to cancel on me and my band. Having already loaded up the car for my gig, I was very, very angry. I sat down and sent them an email describing all the things I thought they had done wrong and what they could do to make it better next time. As you may guess, there was no next time and uh, I haven't heard from them since. Basically, it comes down to this. If a bar cancels a gig on you, it's probably for one of two reasons. One, they made an honest mistake and you should forgive that, or at least once. Or two, they're being deliberately malicious with you, in which case you probably don't want to play at that bar anyway. So yes, having a gig canceled absolutely sucks and is terribly inconvenient, but it's kind of just an occupational hazard. And now, on to this week's things of note. On Friday I'm playing a wedding with the metronomes, which should be a good time except you can't come and see it. Uh, unless, of course, you were invited, and then please do come. Uh, assuming, of course, that you filled out your response card and sent it back in time, and given my personal experience, you probably didn't. Why haven't you sent back your response card yet? He says to nobody in particular. Then on Monday, I'm playing with the metronomes again at Comedy Off-Broadway. We're opening up for the Dojo Big Band, and the show starts at 7 o'clock. I don't have any other details, like cost or how long we're playing or anything like that. Uh, I'll link to the websites in the description, but just be warned, Comedy Off-Broadway does not keep their website up to date, at least with respect to their musical acts. Okay, that's all for this week. Uh, if you're into some big band jazz, please come out on Monday nights at Comedy Off-Broadway. And if I don't see you Monday, I'll see you next Tuesday. Thanks for watching.